This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Special Edition Figures 2-Pack of Battlefield Bumblebee and Infiltration Soundwave. Uh, these two are the uh, direct repaints of the preview wave figures of Cannon Bumblebee and uh, Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. Um, uh, these two are part of the first wave of Nest Alliance figures, uh, which really launched the whole campaign of Hasbro for the uh, Nest Alliance, Decepticons, and Autobots. And in some parts of the world, uh, these two contain the um, uh, special booklet or uh, promo, promo, promotional um, leaflet that you could send Hasbro to redeem a repainted Ravage figure. Okay. Uh, first uh, impression of these figures, they didn't really look good on paper, but one uh, on, on pictures on the internet. But once you get them and you open them up, they're actually not that bad, as you will see later. So let us begin uh, with uh, the repainted Cannon Bumblebee or the Battlefield Bumblebee. Uh, it's exactly the same mold except for the head. Obviously, uh, they've replaced it with a. Uh, uh, a masked, a bell armored, uh, or, or uh, battle masked bumblebee. Here's the original cannon bumblebee. Some subtle differences here and there. For instance, the obvious uh, change of color for the Gatling gun. Instead of black, they put a little bit of a magenta on it. Not exactly sure why they put that there. I would have preferred the black. Um, finally, Hasbro has gotten smarter, and uh, instead of putting, instead of this teeny tiny Autobot symbol on the uh, tip of one of the Gatling gun uh, uh, covers they've put an actual Autobot symbol on the bonnet which is now the chest of Bumblebee which is perhaps should have been the original choice for this one I'm glad they, they changed that they've painted some of the bits of the torso and the crotch instead of metallic blue they've had it silver some parts are silver while as the supposed plate number area or license plate area has not been painted and finally if you notice in these two figures, uh, they've gotten they've, they didn't use the frosted glass that they would used for Cannon Bumblebee. They used a clear uh, blue plastic for the uh, windows and windshield, as you will see later. So that that's about the subtle differences between two figures, but both figures are identical except for the head. Okay, so very nice. Um, it still retains all the still retains all the articulation that the Canon Bumblebee had exact same look he's still that chubby looking Bumblebee uh, if you watched my original video for Canon Bumblebee this you'll know this is my least favorite of the Bumblebee figures but uh, it, it's this figure has grown on me and uh, I'm growing I'm sort of liking it a little bit so anyway there he is uh, to transform him get him out of the FX friends pose and uh, just close the fingers go ahead and close the uh, Gatling guns fold in the head uh, detach the upper torso from the midsection uh, you can go ahead and transform the legs it's exactly the same as movie one Bumblebee's legs uh, the Automorph has not been changed. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the new uh, Bumblebee when it comes out. Uh, I hope they, they do improve on the legs. Uh, fold out the... Uh, go ahead and fold out the roof. Uh, oh, wait. Before you do that, you might as well go ahead and uh, just... Uh, Fold up the uh, here. Fold up the front part of the car, uh, and then uh, fold up the windshield and the roof. Uh, okay. Fold up the dashboard like so. You can go ahead and join the uh, the legs to the roof, and then. Uh, this thing should be snapping into place, but it's not. Oh! Okay. 
there you go. Okay. Close the doors. And then just, uh, it's just a matter of folding in the, uh, the wheels and the arms uh, to Okay, just make sure the wheels are correctly aligned. And there is Cannon Bum uh, Cannon Bumblebee, Battlefield Bumblebee in his uh, Camaro Alt mode. Still exactly the same as Cannon Bumblebee. It's nice that there's the Autobot symbol in front and not on the side. Nothing much has changed again, as I said, apart from the things I mentioned in the beginning, like the windows, symbol, everything's the same. So there you go. Uh, we'll put him aside. Now for Soundwave. Soundwave has been completely repainted um, to make, I'm not exactly sure what kind of look they were going for with this one, but uh, I like the new paint scheme. Uh, both paint schemes are fine with me. Uh, you know, I like the first one, the first Soundwave, I, I like this one as well. Uh, it's really up to you whether you want a more darker sound wave or the original sound wave. I'm not exactly biased to any of the figures. I just love this mold, so uh, I'm not going to pick one over the other. But uh, um, yeah, but these this guy is being being very difficult to find now. Between the two heads, this is a, has a more G1 accurate head. The colors of the head sculpt is a lot closer to this G1 version, but uh, I like the blue on this one. It, the camera is showing it as a very light shade of aqua or blue, but it's actually a bit dark, uh, already bordering on indigo. Um, a lighter shade of indigo, if you, if you could imagine that. Um, anyway, so very nice, still retains all the articulation that the original Soundwave had. I like these, the red and silver. Transform him. Uh, it's really up to you. There's you can follow the instructions. You can do it any which way you want. You want to? I, I prefer to do my own transformation of this guy. Uh, just go ahead and unfold, unclip this back part, and then just fold up the legs. Just join. This is really just the essential bit of transformation. Once you've gotten the legs together uh, and formed the front part of the satellite or of the, his ship, he, he still is a triple changer if you want him to be a triple changer, but to me, he's he's just sound wave that transformed into a satellite. So, uh, you, you, I'm doing this my own way, so he's off in the comments, okay? This is just me having fun with sound wave. Okay, um, my version of, of Soundwave's transformation. So, excuse me, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna transform him this way. Okay. Uh, okay, like so. I, I like this this mode. It's like a five-pointed star uh, mode. There is Soundwave in the FX France satellite mode. Uh, quite a big mode, if you ask me. But you know, it showcases all of his uh, assets and and whatnot, and I, I like it. I like it this way. It's really up to you how you transform him. You can move the fins either way you you want. You can move it this way. Put it on the side like so. It's really up to you, but uh, these figures have really grown on me. I'm I'm really liking them. Uh, the paint scheme isn't too offensive, or it's not as bad as as I thought they would be. So, I mean, if if you already have the original figures, uh, there's really no need to to get uh, the repaints. But uh, if if you're looking for a um, an upgraded color scheme for Soundwave and the Battle Mask Bumblebee, then I'd, I'd recommend this this particular pair. Uh, so there you go. I hope this video has been helpful to a lot of you who've been wondering about this particular two-pack, the uh, infiltra Infiltration Soundwave uh, together with the Battlefield Bumblebee. Uh, thanks for watching.